Okay, so hi everybody. Please excuse the face. I um, was too uh, lazy to work on the face or the hair because I'm about to dye it. So I can't actually put anything in my hair right now because I'm gonna go like blonde soon. So um, yeah, that's why I kind of look like crap. Anyways. I'm here to respond to this week's topic, which is um, your worst date, something like that. Anyways, um, mine is actually really, really bad. Um, wasn't a good guy at all, and it's not a bad in a funny way. It's bad in like a bad way. Um, he was actually really racist. Um, what happened was he came down from Ottawa and um, it was like spur of the moment thing. I told my mother that I was going to a bar with a friend, but really I was going to a bar to go on a date with this guy. Um, he had decided to go to the most redneck bar in town. And when I say redneck, I mean redneck. I mean, gay people can't walk in there, black people can't walk in there, like it's... Either you look like trash or you're white. Even I walk in there and I I get hated on. So, uh, that's what happened. Um, which is funny because there's a lot of tan people that go there, but they know they're white so they don't get any crap. But actual tan person walk in there and hello. So anyways, we go to the bar. And before we walk into the bar, um, he's telling me, how he likes this bar because it plays white music and they play rock and the people in there understand how he thinks and I'm going oh shit this is not going to go well it did not during our entire time there he was talking about how he hated black people and that he was thankful that my mother was white otherwise he would not have gone on a date with me at all um, also, what else happened, um, a song from Eminem came on at one point because the band shut down for a bit to take a break, um, there was a live band playing and, um, Eminem came on and the guy goes, I don't like that guy, and I went, well, why not? He goes, because he's pretending to be black and black is a bad thing. I just, I had enough. I was trying to text friends and stuff, ask them for a ride home. Like, I was screwed over. I was stuck with this guy till the end. And I just, I didn't know what to do. And uh, if you're hearing buzzing in the background, by the way, that's a fridge. And I have the thing on a fridge in a, in a room, in, an, in the office that, office building that I work in. Anyways, um, so I was trying to text friends. And I was telling him, this guy is a racist, he's a bigot, he hates gay people, he hates anyone who's not white. Um, somebody saved me, this guy is bad. And all my friends are just going, oh, that's so, that's so sad. And Well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. And it's like, I know you're home, I know you're free, come and get me. But no, nothing. So I got screwed over and I had to listen to him hate on every race that was not white and then he was talking to the bar people and a guy was about to give me a, f a flower because he was absolutely drunk and decided to buy like 12 a dozen roses and um he was saying um just so you know this girl's not fully white so i don't know if that qualifies for a rose or not i swear i wanted to kick the guy in the balls but he was my ride home and um, not only that, but he drank like eight beers in one night. And I had to go, it was in winter. There was ice on the ground and everything. And I had to get back home with him. There was an ice storm that night and he had to drive back to Ottawa. So it was, oh, just remembering it was like the worst state I could ever imagine going on. And I just, I had it. And then when he drove me home, he was also like a germaphobe, and yet he is a janitor in a school that deals with multicultural children. He's a janitor, 
a germaphobe, and a racist. And, oh, it was awful. And the guy was hoping to get action that night. When he realized he wasn't going to get any action, he decided to uh, leave, drive back home that night. At first, he was going to stay at my place. He drove back home. I'm glad he did, because I couldn't stand him any longer, and I was ready to kick him in the balls. And a little piece of me, just a little piece of me, wished he would have gotten an accident that night. Just a little bit. But anyways, that's my worst date as of yet. Yeah, <laughs> that's my worst date. <laughs>